Squat bench and deadlift are very simple lifts. Unfortunately, due to a lot of advice that's just generally accepted to be true, which is fairly dog shit, it makes it a little bit harder to progress with all this contradicting information. So I'm gonna just go one by one through each of the big three lifts, starting with bench. The worst cue for bench is to stack your wrist neutral. This is weirdly, insanely well accepted. It's just dumb as fuck. Because now you gotta try to balance the bar over this small point in your wrist. Why do that? Also, it makes the range of motion way longer because now you gotta press it that extra little bit to your chest versus if you had it like this, it'd be easier to support and you'd have less range of motion. I mean, I'm not saying have it all the way back, but having it neutral is just stupid and you're gonna ax it just to flip over and then you're just gonna be off. Also, people completely demonizing arching or leg drive. Now, I'm not saying going crazy with it because if you're arching like wild and you're not doing powerlifting, why do that? You're just cutting off range of motion for no reason. But a small arch and a little bit of leg drive is good for benching. It's gonna help you out. On the complete opposite end of arching for bench, is people afraid of arching for deadlift. Now, you don't wanna be completely hunchback, cackback, that's bad. But if it's slightly bent over, you're probably gonna be all right. What you don't wanna do is progressively get more and more round. If you're gonna be slightly hunched over, stay that amount hunched over. You don't wanna get more and more because that's when you really fuck yourself up and you could probably herniate a disc or some shit. Another piece of advice that's really widely accepted, especially by coaches in high schools, is that squat your deadlift or try to bring your hips down unnecessarily. You're not gonna outsmart your fucking bone structure. If your leverage is to pull higher, you have to pull higher. You're not gonna be able to force yourself down. Let's just pull from where you're comfortable from. With that same idea of just using where you're best leveraged, if you're not built to squat upright and you have long femurs, stop trying to squat upright. Just start lean forward so all the way through the squat, it's consistent. Stop trying to defy your bone structure. You're not gonna do it. All right, that's pretty much all the advice that I could think of that is bad. The only way that you're gonna be able to tell if advice is good or bad or works for you is just through experience. So as long as you're consistent, that's really all that matters.